People always ask me, what, how does a laser work and what's a laser? And I think I'd like to take this opportunity to share with you exactly what a laser looks like on the inside. Now these things are very, these machines are very complex and we have to maintain them regularly so that they work properly and calibrate them. So I'm going to take this opportunity, we're in the middle of maintaining our machine, which is actually kind of time intensive and kind of expensive and that's why these procedures have some, have some considerable cost to them. But I'm going to take this opportunity as a learning experience to actually show you what's in the laser. So come on, we'll take a look. This thing I'm holding in my hand, by the way, is a unit that we're replacing today. This all this is, is the electronics to control the direction of the laser when we do these, the scanning beam of the laser. As many of you know, who I've discussed this with, the major advance over the past five or more years in lasers has been the ability to scan the laser so we can get the result we want much less invasively than the original lasers that were used on the skin. All this machinery in here is much of it is used to control the direction of the laser energy. So the laser energy comes out over here and that's what people see in the office but let's peek inside the laser and see what we have. This is the actual tube where the carbon dioxide um, creates the um, and the energy is passed through carbon dioxide gas and the electrons vibrate and they come out at one energy so that's what a laser is. A laser is just a beam of light that has exactly the same frequency or wavelength or color. Now this one happens to be invisible but it turns out that the carbon dioxide laser or CO2 laser is um, set off a whole new, the whole um, era of laser skin resurfacing we have now because it turns out that the CO2 light, the, the frequency is absorbed by water molecules and the water molecules are in our skin so it's very superficial and a safe treatment and when this beam of light comes down it is absorbed by the water molecules and that's where we get our result. So no CO2 gas is actually emitted in the room. That's all sealed in this chamber here. So this is the lasing tube. This is an energy supply that puts the energy through the lasing tube to create the electrons that come up this way. The laser energy then is directed through this arm and there's an articulated arm with a lot of mirrors inside that have to be aligned and maintained also. But by being bounced off these mirrors within this arm, that's the way it's applied to your skin. And this is also part of the scanning apparatus that allows us to move the laser in different ways. And that's basically how the laser works and what it looks like on the inside. Now, we have different tips for the laser. And this is a tip. We could put this tip on and we could actually concentrate the laser energy so we can vaporize little lesions and moles on the skin very easily or even cut with the laser. When we use the other tip that I showed you before, it used a scanning beam and we could now um, control that beam in a variety of ways. It used to be when I first started doing this in 1996 that the laser could only be used in a very, very specific way and everybody did it exactly the same way pretty much. But now we have these lasers and you can see we have so many ways to control the beam that depending upon the experience of the operator and what the problem is, we can adjust this in a variety of ways. So no two laser treatments are exactly the same. It depends on what the surgeon's experience is and what decisions they make on how to apply that energy. So that basically covers exactly what a laser is and how complex it is on the inside. It's not magic, but it's pretty close, I think. Thanks for listening.